let's talk about the important one that is candida okay let's talk about the candida the candida you know it is yeast like okay this particular one is what this is yeast like and this particular candida is having the most important species termed as candida albicans and this particular candida albicans shows up two phenomena one is renault broad phenomenon okay and another one is chlamydospore formation okay so these two names you need to know that one is renault broad phenomenon and one is chlamydospore formation and this particular chlamydospore formation happens to be on which media on corn meal agar it happens to be on which media on the corn meal agar okay and this particular one renal broad is termed as germ tube formation method it is termed as germ tube formation method whereas the chlamydospores as you know this is a asexual spores and these particular asexual spores they are being produced on a nutrient deficient media named as what corn meal agar so these two important ones you need to know regarding the candida albicans that it shows renal broads and chlamydospore formation in corn meal agar okay now how to remember this renal broad remember in this particular sense ronaldo brought a germ candy so from that you can able to know that renals is ronaldo brought a germ candy and from candy you will able to know that it is for the candida candida albicans okay so this is one of the things which you need to know here besides that uh, if i talk about the species which are non candida albicans also termed as nca and the name of those ncas is what the name of them is candida cruzi candida gullermondi okay candida kefir candida stilatodia okay candida glebrata candida vishwanathi so these fancy names are there of the non candida albicans these are the fancy names of non candida albicans and for your information now for them also there is a increase in resistance okay there is a increase in resistance day by day to what to the antifungal drugs to the antifungal drugs there is a increase in resistance to them day by day so this is also to be remembered regarding the non candida albicans okay now after this if we talk about the candida albicans which all diseases is being done by this so the first one is right from the mouth that is the oral thrush or you call it as oral candidiasis okay common in the hiv positive ones another hiv positive common is esophageal candidiasis esophageal candidiasis is the other one regarding it then third one is vaginal candidiasis okay so guys over all these three you can have a case based question they can ask up after giving up a picture of the mouth and the whitish plaques you will observe there so they are talking about the oral candidiasis esophageal candidiasis what they can talk of a driver is there okay a non hiv positive is there and on the esophagoscopy you could able to see the whitish plaques in the esophageal region so that particular one suggest what esophageal candidiasis which is very common in hiv positive ones vaginal candidiasis a thick curdy white discharge that is characteristic of vaginal candidiasis that also needs to remember thick curdy discharge fourth one is certain invasive lesions and which invasive lesions we talk about the invasive lesions are one is candidemia okay one is candiduria these are the invasive ones and sometimes they say that uh, the candida in the urine might be a contaminant also okay so candidemia it is there in the blood and the same candida 
in the form of invasive lesions can go to the brain and it can cause what meningitis and don't be shocked guys candida can also cause meningitis remember this particular sense also okay the fifth one is onychomycosis onychomycosis the infection of the nails that is termed as onycho or onychomycosis sixth one is it can leads to uti and yes it can do rti also that is respiratory tract infections obviously less common but it can do okay so these are the important points regarding the various diseases done by the candida albicans now this particular candida albicans is common in neutropenic patients it is common in neutropenic patients okay other than that those who are immunodeficient because of any reason the candida infection keeps on happening to them again and again so that is also one of the things okay neutropenia and this particular hiv positivity they are a invitation for the candida along with that some malignancies and steroids they they are also associates with the infection of candida as far as the lab diagnosis is concerned that how to approach the lab diagnosis of candida in the lab diagnosis what you need to know is that in the gram stain you will observe the e cells okay and they stains uh, positive so e cells are observed in the gram stain so that is there besides this you can culture it culture it via the universal fungal culture media that is sda and what is produced on that creamy pasty colonies creamy pasty not so tasty means it exactly look like a toothpaste so creamy pasty colonies they are observed on the sda and recent all india question is that chrome agar this chrome agar method is being used to speciate so speciation is done with the help of which media that is the chrome agar media and chrome agar media is a media in which different different colors of the like candida comes out and according to the leaflet of that chrome agar you can easily identify that which particular species of candida is growing off so obviously by this particular chrome agar you can do what you can do the speciation so remember this particular fact also now talking about the other things like uh, sugar fermentation test assimilation test they can also be done sugar fermentation test or assimilation test but nowadays nobody have time to do them so that's why they are like obsolete now okay another important thing which i like to tell you is here which is being asked again and again is beta glucan testing some of the fungus they have this beta 13 glucan in their cell wall and this beta glucan testing is being done for these particular fungus which you can remember by a mnemonic cap in this c is candidiasis a is aspergillosis and p is pneumocystis cerevisiae p is pneumocystis zero vc infection and this is to be remembered that it is not a normal candida infection it is invasive candidiasis and it is not normal aspergillosis infection it is a invasive aspergillosis for which you go for this beta glucan testing also termed as beta 13 glucan beta 13 glucan test that is also being done for this okay so these are the important ones which you need to know regarding the beta 13 glucan testing okay